I'm sorry. This is really hard for me to say. I have... I have this problem. <laughs> calendars. You might think, how on earth could calendars be a, uh, a problem? See, I'm very particular about the calendars. See, most people say, oh, that, that calendar, that calendar is beautiful. I'll, I'll take that calendar or I'll, I'll just buy something to put in my office at work. No, I have to examine the calendars. I have to look at the back of the calendars and look at all the pictures and fall in love with it. And then, when I receive the calendar as my Christmas gift on that beautiful December 25th morning, I open the calendar with joy and I flip through each page and I look at, at each new picture for each month and then, then I wait. I never look back through them again. I hang it on my wall and every month, I'm excited. I'm delighted to see what the new picture of the calendar will be. So you might be thinking, okay, that may be a little bit odd, but Sarah, you're odd. That's, that's not really a problem. Here, here comes the problem. The problem is when I try to push my joy for calendars upon others. Or when I don't allow the others to share in the calendar joy. Let's start with the latter. It was a beautiful day. I was filming with some friends on June 30th. And, and we stayed up into the wee hours of the night to film. It, it, it was fabulous. And then I come home and it is July 1st and I know in my heart that it is July 1st, but I do not have the energy to change my calendar to July. I tell myself I shall change it when I wake up. So I sleep, glorious sleep, and my mother comes into my room later on that day when I am waking up, and, and she and I are talking, it is, it is wonderful mother-daughter talk, and she sees, she sees my calendar, and she sees that, that it still says June. So, so she takes my calendar off of my wall to flip it for me. Oh, she, she, she's gonna deprive me of, of my calendar joy? What? No. No, no. So before she has the chance to deprive me of my calendar joy, I very quietly and carefully take the calendar from her hands and say something along the lines of, oh, thank you, mommy, thank you. And I flip the calendar for myself because I could not allow her to be the one to flip the calendar for me. I had to feel the joy of flipping the calendar over to the month of July. There's another moment when I, I made a new, a new friend, a weekend buddy, somebody who I don't even know if we're Facebook friends or not, but we talked for a weekend. She was a very nice girl. I went to a party at her house, which sounds weird that I don't even know her on Facebook. Hmm. Point being, I was in her dorm room at her school. Wow, this is kind of creepy. I don't even know this girl on Facebook. I've been to her house. I have slept in the same dorm room as her. I, I made a Walmart trip for her. Okay, I should probably look this person up on Facebook. Just saying. She has a calendar on her wall. I'm visiting the month of, of July, July 4th weekend, and I... I look over at her calendar, and y you know, you know what it says? May! May! Her calendar is stuck on May! And, and I say to her, hey, hey, you know, you know your calendar's on May, right? She tells me that she was too lazy to flip it. She's not actually a lazy person, she's a very hardworking person. But, you know, that moment when you're being lazy and you don't want to do something that takes like two seconds, right? For me, no. No, no, it was, it was not just some goofy laziness. It hurt inside of me that her calendar still said May. Okay, so maybe it didn't actually physically hurt me, but I wanted her calendar to say July. So, so I asked her, <laughs> would, it, would it offend you if I changed your calendar for you? She let me. But see, see, that's not the end of the story. I go to change the calendar to July. And I flip it from May to June. And there is this beautiful, beautiful picture of a swan. And there's, there's a Bible verse from the book of Psalms. 
And it, it pained me that this swan would never get to hang on her wall because the month of June was over. I was the only one in that room to partake in the beauty of the swan. It, it missed out on its 30 days of life. It was waiting, it was longing for that day when she would flip that calendar and it would get to see the world for 30 days, but it didn't. That moment hurt me so much, I can't even remember what the picture for July was. So that's my problem. I have a weird obsession with calendars that I never knew until that moment and that girl's dorm flipping her calendar for her. Honestly, the situation with my mom, that happened in the beginning of July, and this happened in the beginning. Wow, they happened in the same week. That, that is weird. Wow. Oh. So that, that first week of July of 2015 was the week of my life that I realized I have a calendar problem. Honestly, I think it's always been there. It just, never fully surfaced itself until that day. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Probably nothing.